Are you ready to explore the best things to do in Aswan? From the stunning architecture of Fila Temple to day tripping to Abyssimbal, discover Aswan's charms with this banging guide. <laughs> I'll admit, aside from its proximity to Abu Simbel, Aswan was probably the city I knew least about before my recent Egypt trip. And as a result, it was the one that surprised me the most. Hey, I'm Juliana from The Discoveries Of, and today we are going to explore Aswan. Aswan has always been an important city in Egypt and has acted as the country's gateway to the rest of Africa for centuries. The area is unlike any other in Egypt and is famous for its distinct Nubian culture. Throw in a few show-stopping landmarks, a rich heritage, and its jaw-dropping location on the Nile, and you'll start to understand why you need to explore Aswan during your Egypt trip. <laughs> Sitting pretty on its own island, Fila Temple is one of the best preserved temples of the Ptolemaic dynasty, and one of my own personal favorite things to see in Aswan. To put it quite bluntly, is stunning. Now this is one of the real highlights of any trip to Aswan. It's an island temple, a Greco-Roman, and you have to hop on a boat um, and sail over for five minutes um, over to the temple and it is stunning. I knew that I wanted to come and see the temple um, but actually seeing it in real life is just incredible. I'm not going to go into too much of the temple's history but there are a couple of reasons why Fila looks quite different to some of the other temples that you'll see in Egypt. First of all is the age. At just over 2,000 years old, Fila is actually one of the youngest ancient Egyptian temples still standing, so it's a bit of a baby, really. In addition to that, the Ptolemaic dynasty was an era which saw Macedonian Greeks rule over ancient Egypt as pharaohs, and as such, the architecture from this period is distinctly different to that of previous eras. Standing as Fila is today, the island that you find it on isn't actually the same one that the ancient Egyptians built it on all those years ago. Fila was originally located on a different island, but had to be moved brick by brick when the high dam was built in the late 60s, as it would have been completely submerged and lost forever. And yes, if you think this tale sounds familiar, the same thing actually had to be done with Abu Simbel, while other temples like Dabod were donated to other countries. Dabod was given to Spain, and actually you can go and see it in Madrid today. It's one of my favorite spots there. Into the Nubian Museum. Now, interestingly, this part of what is now modern day Egypt actually never used to be a part of Egypt at all. It used to be part of Nubia. And this museum is dedicated to the Nubian people, talks about their history and their civilization. And I'm really excited to find out some more. We went for dinner with a Nubian family last night. Spectacular food. Oh God, it was so good. Um, but let's go and discover. This is one of the best places to learn more about ancient and modern day Nubian people and their way of life. The Nubian Museum dives into the history of the Nubian people and contains a range of artefacts including handicrafts and artworks. Okay, okay, so Abu Simbel is not in Aswan at all, but seeing as you've come this far south it would be a real shame to miss out on Abu Simbel and it is an easy day trip from Aswan. The temple complex is one of the most impressive sites in Egypt, which is really saying something, given it rivals destination like Karnak and the pyramids of Giza. Built by Ramesses II, Abu Simbel is a triumph of ancient engineering and architecture, and honestly, I'm yet to meet a person that hasn't been awestruck by the site of the temples. <laughs> about 280 kilometers from Aswan so you can get there by plane from Aswan airport or by bus or by private car those latter ones are cheaper but they take longer I didn't find many people recommending Kitchener's Island and the Botanical Gardens when I was researching things to do in Aswan, which is a real shame as it's one of the city's most peaceful and prettiest spots. 
based on a small island across the Nile from Aswan. It's a wonderful botanical garden with exotic plants from all over Africa and Asia. Let's talk practicalities for getting over to the botanical gardens from Aswan. So you'll need to catch Felucha from Aswan. There's a port, it's next to the McDonald's. There's like a, a Nile front McDonald's because of course, uh, you need to catch a boat, a Felucha, over to Kitchener's Island. Hopefully they'll swing by the Tomb of the Nobles so you can get a really pretty view. And then once you get onto Kitchener's Island, it's 35 Egyptian pounds entry, which is the equivalent, I think, of like maybe like £1.50 and maybe like $1.75. So it's really cheap entry. It's beautiful. I'd highly recommend coming. And, uh, and just come and chill. And also another tip is definitely come early if possible because at this time it's really beautiful. You've got lovely breezes and um, later on it's just gonna be really hot. It was like 45 degrees yesterday hot. Next up, the Tombs of the Nobles. These are a set of impressive rock tombs on the cliffs of the West Bank and where Aswan's nobles have been laid to rest. You can access the tombs through a steep staircase near the Garb Aswan boat landing. You should definitely take a boat trip to one of Aswan's colourful Nubian villages. You can learn about the Nubian people and also take some pictures outside the very colourful homes. But what I would recommend doing is booking a dinner at a local family's home so that you can learn about Nubian culture from the source. <laughs> Feluca boat ride is pretty exciting during the day, but it's even more magical when you go just as the sun set. So if you book a Feluca ride, it usually lasts for about an hour or two, takes you around various islands in the Nile, and it's absolutely one of the most scenic and memorable things you can do in the evening as you watch the sun slip away over the horizon. Okay, now it's time for a little mini Aswan travel guide. How long should you stay there? Two to three days is enough time to see most of Aswan's attractions and the surrounding areas. Definitely go for three days if you're planning to spend a day going to Abba Simbel. When's the best time to visit Aswan? I'd say October to April. This is when the weather is relatively mild and there are fewer crowds so you can enjoy all of the sights and activities to the full without sweating it out. Where should you stay? I'm gonna give you a couple of options here. Pyramisa Island Hotel, which is mid-range, Sofitel Legend Old Cataract, which is luxury, and the Obelisk Nile Hotel, which is a budget hotel. So there we are, your Aswan travel guide. All that's left for me to say is I hope that you have a banging trip. It's an incredible destination, so much history, so much to see. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Egypt travel guides. That's it, over and out.